Hello and welcome my creative friends to my next vlog. This is vlog number 10. Already can't believe it. My name is Christina and I'm a mixed media artist and art journaler and cosmic smashbooker and uh, I'm also known as Bonfire Art on Instagram and here on YouTube and Facebook and well wherever you want to find me. In this vlog I share about my life, about my art and um, yeah as I said this is vlog number 10 and I started a year ago pretty exactly I think to vlog and um, yeah it was also May and um, yeah a lot has been going on in this year and um, yeah the funny thing is that in my latest vlog I talked about how much my art practice had eroded over the last month half a year or even a bit longer and how difficult it was to me to find inspiration to get back to my art desk to actually make art and um, yeah this time i have to say at least for the moment the spark is back i'm super inspired and um, i found some some things that i'm really excited about and i want to tell you about those so one thing that i already um talked about or mentioned in my latest vlog is I did a cyanotype workshop with Vanessa from France. I did it together with my daughter last Saturday and we created our first cyanotypes and it was really nice, it was super relaxing and it's really magical. The process, it's easy, it's fun and you can really go into it, connect with yourself with nature and then you have some pretty awesome results pretty quickly which is like really nice so i will show you what we made or at least some of the cyanotypes we made because one is already uh gifted to my father-in-law who um who had his 70th birthday yesterday so we gifted him one of the cyanotypes we made and um, then there's this one that my daughter made and she wants to have it in her room um, so yeah I already bought a frame and I will we will frame it and she will hang it in her room uh, our big project for this winter break in July is to switch rooms around so that each of our kids has their own room finally though so that they are no longer together so yeah that's our project for winter break and so yeah room decoration guaranteed <laughs> and um yeah we are pretty hooked up and we will surely make cyanotypes uh every weekend from now on or when we have time and when the sun shines so yeah that was pretty awesome i also have this one which is interesting it's kind of a double exposure thing because the glass we put on top like uh moved and the plant moved with it so we have the same thing double on our on our cyanotype but i find this super interesting and then i have a bigger one this one so yeah don't know what i will do with this but it's it's really nice and we surely we will create more and i have a lot of ideas of things i could make or try or plants i could use so yeah let's see where this goes and the other thing that I find really inspiring at the moment and really is giving me a daily dose of creativity and an inspiration spark is the Messy May challenge from uh, Get Messy art journaling account on Instagram. And um, I wasn't expecting that at all, <laughs> that it would be this inspiring for me and it would be like, I feel like it's just the right thing at the right time with little inspirations every day and um, yeah that's uh, it's super awesome I am totally totally on fire with this challenge I signed up because I saw that my friend Tamara uh, was participating and um, I love her work it's really unique it's um, sometimes scary sometimes ridiculous but it's always deep in its meaning and uh, yeah she's hilarious but it's also like inspiring you inspiring me at least to go deep into something 
at least if I want to and if not I have just the silly art <laughs> something that I wouldn't make from myself so that's why I signed up to the challenge and uh, then it started and the first prompt was to make a junk journal a, a, a little journal just for this month and I suddenly got the idea okay I want a square journal and I made <laughs> I made this journal square and it's from the cover is made from two um, the the kitchen paper rolls uh, so I got I had two of them and I made the cover and then I had a lot I have a lot of paper because I do make journals every now and then so I, I have plenty of paper and so it started and I decorated the cover and that was really nice and well then I just got into the prompts every day I looked them up and I started creating and there are some things that I really love <clears throat> there are some pages that took me quite a while that I worked a day or two on them and there's others that I made in 15 minutes and um, I do find that now at mid-May we are um, day 19 today I noticed that I get own ideas and inspiration quicker than I did before so I get a little input from the daily prompts and then I my 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 brain starts to work and I in my head I'm already creating and then when I go to the page I um, I know what I want to do it's like it's getting easier to tap into my own intuition again and I had missed that and I didn't even realize how much I had missed that. So yeah, that's like really <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, I have not done the prompt for yesterday and today because yesterday I went to the office and then we went to my, uh, do my father-in-law's birthday. So I wasn't home all day. And um, yeah, so I have uh, something from yesterday. I have something from today to create. Um, so yeah. Let's dive into that a little bit before I get to work for the day. Okay, before I start a page for the day or the last two days, I want to show you some of the pages that are already in here. So this is the cover of my messy major collage and a bit of acrylic uh, paint and the words. And uh, yeah, here are some Here are some doodles and this is not chronological, here is a page about expansion and I make, I put little notes in with um, things that I keep noticing or that come up during the month. Here's a page with glitter. I don't normally use glitter, but I'm thinking like, okay, if the uh, host or guest artist like proposes something and I have it at hand, I will just try it out to see if I find new things that I like. I don't know if I will be using much glitter in the future because it's a mess. <laughs> And um, yeah, I don't like that then it falls off sometime and then you have glitter everywhere. That's not really my thing, but okay, for the sake of trying. <clears throat> There's a lot of collage things. There are all little pe uh, pieces of paper that are sticking out. And I already had some pretty awesome moments, aha moments of things that I noticed during this challenge about me, about myself, about my creativity. This is the page that I created for Tamara's prompt. And I absolutely love it. It's not something that I would have done on my own, but with her guidance and inspiration, it was like, yeah, that was super fun. The little brain jump, brain dump thing. <clears throat> A lot of collage some pages are really simple like this one I created in just a few minutes and I have a little pocket here to gather things that bring me joy 
flowers is not something that I do often, but I really love this one. <clears throat> Patchwork collage, super fun. Not some and not something that I had done before, so it's awesome to try new things. Okay, and I plan on sticking uh, the prompt list and the guest artists post from Get Messy. I I think I'm thinking to print it out and. Put it in here so later i will know what were the prompts and who were the artists that inspired me before i start working for the day i will just create a quick background so the prompt from yesterday was extensions and i noticed i already have some this one and especially this one like things that stick out over the uh, the tinier papers I already have. I also have this one. So yeah, there are already a few extensions, but I will use this spread so I can put something on here. And to the today's prompt is gratitude, and the idea is to print out photos and uh, jot some notes down of things uh, we are grateful for. And I don't have a working printer or a computer. The printer works, but the computer does not. So I'm thinking about combining these two and create a spread. And I don't have a portrait here of the women portraits that I like to draw. So my idea <clears throat> is to do this on this page. So I will just, yeah, let me see if this is big enough. Hold that down, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention, my colleague brought me a little package from Germany. She went to Germany for, for some work events. And uh, she was in Berlin and my mom sent me a package with her. And my, I asked my mom if she could get me some Stabilo All pencils, which I can get here. I can get some water soluble pencils from other brands, but I have been told that the Stabilo All is um, better more intense than every other one so i jumped at the opportunity and asked my mom if she could get me some and she sent me five i think so i will have stabilo all in black for a while and i want to try this out so that's also why the portrait idea comes in i think because i usually use these pencils um, to start my portraits. Okay. like to sketch them and then you put water and it gets like a bit messy and imperfect and I like that for my portrait for my po portraits can't talk today it seems
Okay, so that's enough for my little quick background. This gets to dry now. I will work a bit and later come back. So here it is, one of my super new, brand new Stabilo All pencils from Germany. Um, and let's try this out.
June already and um, yeah I thought I have to give you an update before I close this vlog it has been a crazy month um, and I have not been able to film anything of anything <laughs> really uh, for the vlog at least so I give you a quick update and um, I kind of sense a pattern here. I think there are several vlogs that went like this. I started out really strong, I filmed stuff, I collected stuff and then a few weeks went by or a month where I did not film anything and then I came back and said oh yeah sorry it's like so many weeks have passed. So yeah it's kind of a pattern. I will just roll with it and um, tell you a bit about June. So um, June was crazy. I have been super inspired, super creative. I'm got, I got the creative spark back. I feel like my hands are itching all the time to do things and I have been creating a lot of stuff. Like stuff that I have never done before, like collage elements and uh, little cut out, cutting out little flowers that I finger painted and uh, butterflies and stuff like that. Just stuff that I will then use in some other way, in some journal or in some other art. So that was something that I have never really done before, I think, and that's quite, uh, it's fun. It gives me something to do just when I just want to do something, but I don't want to go really deep. I don't want to do smash booking. I don't want to do a super um, elaborate journal spread or something. Um, also, I have been creating many backgrounds that I can later work on. So there was a lot of um, things that are that I was just doing without any expectations of how I will end up using using that. And that's really fun. I like that. So I like to mix in. I also filmed 
um, the bigger part of my uh, Kreasphere lesson, which I'm very happy about. I have to record an introduction and a, uh, some final thoughts, and then I have to edit it all and um, send it in. So for those of you who are in the German mixed media course Kreasphere, at the end of September, I think my lesson will go live and I have been preparing for that. Uh, I also have decided from that portrait that I'm doing in that course, I want to make a series. So I have started a second one uh, that's still a work in progress. But um, yeah, I want to do several, I don't know how many, but several of these portraits that I find really fun. And um, yeah, the reason that I have not been filming <laughs> for the vlog is that I got an eye infection and I had, it was terrible. I was out of order, <laughs> let's say, for filming at least or showing my face on camera for two or three weeks because my eyes were red and swollen and itchy and they... Uh, I had tears running down my face and it was, just, it was just so horrible that obviously I did not want to show my face on camera. I think that's understandable, even though I'm not like a really like, um, I'm not worrying too much how I look on camera, but like that was too much <laughs> to show you. It was just so horrible. And then it got better, but I had some personal family stuff going on that occupied my mind. And so another week went by and I did not film anything. And I think now another week has passed with no particular reasons where I just didn't film anything. So yeah, um, that's my update. I hope that you still enjoyed this vlog that had, I think, only art in it and no family moments but I can tell you that probably in my next vlog there will be quite some family moments because we have some things planned for the winter break winter holidays we're not going anywhere what but we will move rooms in our house like we will not move the rooms obviously but <laughs> the kids will get their separate rooms and we will move to the big one so there will be uh, some renovation going on and i hope to yeah give you some updates about that and how it's turning out and how we're going along i will hopefully also create a lot of art i will be on a break from work for the whole month of july so i hope to do a lot of nice creative things um work on some projects and um yeah renovation and let's see what else what else comes up um, that I can show you. I will now close out this vlog. I wish you all the best. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me some comments or if you want to let me know something, uh, use the comment section. If you like my channel, subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like and that really helps me uh, on this beautiful YouTube platform to reach more people. And uh, I will now show you a flip through of my messy May journal that I completed almost a month ago, <laughs> but I love it so much. I recorded a little flip through. If you want to know more about the pages, there's another video where I do also a flip through and I chat through. <laughs> So I tell you about the pages, about the inspiration, about some of their meanings. Um, so if you like that, you can look up the other video that is longer and not only uh, showing off the pages. And yeah, I wish you all the best. I'm sending you much love and I see you in my next vlog or in my next video. Bye!